Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922 here to bring you oh god. Fairy Tale Episode 159. This one Lucy vs. Flair. So basically this is the entire fight. The entire fight between Lucy and Flair. There is one problem with this episode. Now, you know. You know, I understand it's the anime, and I understand Kuba Hero. You know, his, his, his when this fight went down, it was like filled with, um, dare I say, um, plot holes and stuff. Not really, but yeah. Now here's the problem I have with this episode. Okay, they were like. A few instances where Flair's hair was on fire. Now, the reason why I'm, I'm griping over this is simple. Now, obviously, I'm guessing I'm guessing the reason why is because it's the anime and they had to, you know, make it look like she her hair was on fire. Now, if anyone's seen the fight, you know, Flair versus Lucy, you see how Lucy's boots get disintegrated. Well, I never knew what that meant. I, I never knew what that meant. See, I never, I never, it never occurred to me. But apparently, Flair's hair is on fire. Hence why her hair's red and all this other stuff. So, and should really put one thing to two two together because I mean the whole thing with the branding thing when she was gonna brand Lucy you know fairy, Raven Tail with a fairy tale logo signia that should have indicated to me that's what's going down. But here's the thing w was it necessary to show that in the anime? That's just my own grab. I just I, I don't know it looks weird. Her, it looks like Natsu's flames and shit. And I'm like, why? It looks weird. And another thing that I was kind of hoping I didn't understand why it went down this way. Um, Unfortunately, I forgot the guy's name. <laughs> I haven't seen this, this, this chapter for so long. I forgot the guy's name. Um, You know, the guy that belongs in Slipknot with the long nose and shit. They didn't really do that scene correctly. Because, I don't know, for some reason it feels weird. All they did was you see him. You see him. And then Lucy does her, her, her spell and it dissipates. It just dissipates. And, you know, and that's what ends up happening. And I'm thinking to myself, what? Huh? It was almost as if, you know, they it happened, but they didn't show they didn't he didn't they didn't actually show you what he did. You know. Like it, it was it was pretty much the same thing as the manga. It was really nothing to change in that scene. Now, as far as rating is concerned, um I guess I'll give this a four. Next week, no. Next week. Oh. My. God. It's gonna be so bad. Next week. You guys have no idea. Next week is Joe against Joe. And anyone who's seen the manga and seen that fight is like this. Oh. But I just question it. Because it was just weird to see Flair's hair on fire. And it just didn't seem right. And a lot of things about that fight that I didn't understand. Like, why couldn't Lucy summon um, Capricorn or Loki? You know? She summoned Taurus and Scorpio. She could have summoned um, Loki. I don't know why. He, I guess Hero was just being a troll there, but... I don't know, but it was a good episode, it's just... And those were the events that was, was taking place there. And we get to see Acardius. Acardius was done well. 
I, I like the way he looks. He looks fucking awesome. And he got the square nose, you know, done, done right. Uh, done really well. You know, he says the whole line of, it's ripening. It's funny seeing this again because it would never to occur to me that he, at that point in time, was saying it to say, you know, Zeref. Wait for me. You know, like to, to say that he wanted to destroy Zeref. I, you know, yeah, the misconception that he wanted to, uh, you know, uh, what did he want to do? You know, join Zeref or summon Zeref to some extent. And we also get a scene with Yukino. Yukino was done very well. I, I like I like how they did her. Her hair is like a silvery blue, blue rose in her hair. I, I thought that was done very well with the animation. But like I said, the only thing that got weirded out me with me was the whole thing with Flair and her fire her hair's on fire. But now I put two to two together, it kind of fits and it kind of makes sense to do that. So this week, four out of five. Next week, oh, hell no. No. I am not giving that episode four out of five. There is no way I'm giving it that. Because we know what next week is. Jura. Oh, against GL. No. Luckily, I think, not next week's episode, but probably when they get into day three. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember what day it was, because I haven't seen that chapter in a long time. Which day it was where Loxus fought that guy. I'm thinking it was day three. I'm not 100 percent sure though. Mm. Yeah, it was day three. Or day two. I think it was day two or day three. Because I remember that, you know, the whole you know, Elfman. And people are probably going to think I'm crazy saying this. I'm actually interested in seeing Elfman versus Vatches. <laughs> you probably think I'm on drugs when I say that. But it, it, I want to see that. It should be interesting to see his scales and shit. But this was a good episode. It was just the whole thing with Flair got me a little confused with the whole fire thing. And we see Lucy crying. Hoo, boo, hoo, hoo. You know... But, I mean, that's the way it is. Oh, here comes Natsu. You cheer her up. Oh, I'm all fired up now. Come on. Get on with this shit. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, like I said, it was a good episode. But the whole bit was the whole thing with, with, with Flair's power. I did not understand that. I mean, like, I understand her hair is red. But was it necessary for the anime to make it look like she has flames coming out of her head, hair? That, that just seemed very weird, very weird to me. I apologize if people think I'm crazy, but it just seemed very weird. But other than that, this was a good episode. It was done very well. The animation was good. Opening song sucks. Uh, and uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So um, before I leave with this review, I want to mention one thing. I'm going to start reviewing two mangas soon. And I mean this. One's a seinen. The other's a shonen. I don't think it's going to be this month, though. Because they just came out with the chapters of those two shows, those two mangas. And I don't think I'll be able to review them now. One, Akami ga Kyuru. I just gotta start reviewing that shit. Oh, it's fucking beast. I gotta start reviewing that. And this other show, which I forgot the title. <laughs> I'll probably be doing a video soon. Maybe not tonight. Probably tomorrow or Tuesday. Of where I just, you know, name the name, a video where I just say the names of the two shows that I'm gonna be reviewing in a new year. And that's all I got for you guys. So yeah, good episode of Fairy Tale. It was good. Lucy versus Flair. Um now we got episode. Really? Just really have to see that fight again? Can I just skip it? I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I will just say, fuck it. I'll skip the episode. That's the idea. No, I can't do that. But yeah, I'll review that. It's probably going to be terrible as fuck. Um, but yeah, good episode. Uh, like I said, comment below 
tell me what you guys think about with this episode with the whole thing with Flair's hair and the the, the, the fire on it. Because it just seemed very weird to me. What did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you think they should just ignore it altogether and, you know? Because I just found it very weird. I don't know why. Very weird. But it was a good episode. Flair wins. Oh. <laughs> it's like, why don't you go uh, meet up with Nara Pudding in the back alley and have sex? <laughs> That's why I said it. That's why I said it. Because they make a perfect couple. One's a rapist with marbles in his mouth, and the other one has is a firehead. So yeah. This has been Bonkai922. I will see you guys later. Might do another video t t tonight, today. Versus, we will see. See ya.